A good, happy Thursday morning to you. I hope all is going well, and especially during this Lenten season that you reflect on what our Lord has done for you. I'm going to something I haven't done yet, and that is I'm going to actually review and talk a little bit more about the text that I talked about on Tuesday, which is the Romans text. Um, it's been rattling around in my brain now, and I have more to say, I guess, and um, so I'm going to. Just to refresh you on it, it's Romans chapter 10, verses 8 and following. The word is near you, in your mouth and in your heart. That is the word of faith that we proclaim. Because if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. I found a quote from Longfellow that I thought was interesting. It said, simplicity is the supreme excellence of character and manner and style in all things. And I think it's exactly what's going on here. Paul here really gets to the simplicity of it in a very powerful way. And one that I want to um, push forward to you a little bit more is sometimes we've made this thing called Christianity so complicated. And I mean, these books are proof of that, that sometimes we get lost in a lot of this stuff and forget that this is really what we're talking about, that Christ is our Lord and that he rose from the dead on Easter. And those are our Christian creed at the most basic point that we confess. And even if there's Christians that have different doctrines, different ideas, if they confess and believe those words, there are brothers and sisters in Christ. And even more, sometimes when we discuss Christianity with our, our neighbors or our family who do not believe, uh, we go down these rabbit holes of trying to explain so many different things instead of staying focused on this. I'll give one quick story. I remember one time a atheist wanted to argue baptism with me. I would not do it. And I gave them a look and they realized too that that seemed very odd. They were clearly a person who was raised in a church. And actually I told them they're still a Christian, which they are. Uh, you don't get to disown God. And they were baptized. They are still a child of God. Maybe a lamb erring and walking, but still one of Christ's. Anyways. To, for people like that and in our situations of evangelism, this simplicity, Jesus is Lord and our Heavenly Father rose, raised him from the dead. I think that there's uh, simplicity is also sometimes some of the most beautiful in the world. There's a story I love about a man named uh, Rob in North Carolina years ago now, and he was a rock hound. And um, if you uh, lived out west, especially like in the Rocky States, you'll find that a lot of people are rock hounds. I don't know about here in uh, Pennsylvania. I'm sure there's a few, but they're always walking with their head down, looking at stones and rocks. And he found a big, per quote, purdy and big rock, unquote. And he tried to sell it, and he was willing to take $500, maybe a little bit less, but not much less. And nobody would buy it. He thought it was just, just a stone. So finally he gave up and he threw it in the back of his closet and for two decades it sat there and finally he took it out and took it to some experts and afterwards and I looked at it they found out that it's the largest sapphire ever found intact it's been cut it's called now the star of David interestingly enough and it's worth and this is a few years back now 2.75 million dollars how simple that little rock is and how uh, unimpressive that rock is and then how absolutely valuable that rock is. These words of Paul feel that way to me. They're simple and even unimpressive at one level. But these are the rock, these words, these simple basic words is the confession of the faithful, the confession of those who know God. Because if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. What a, what a simple sentence. And yet, it has the power within it as the word of God to take the dead and make alive, the lost to be found, the erring to be right. I, uh, I hope that you, I, I want to give you, I guess, hope that as Christians, you don't need to know the doctrines of the church in its infinite details. Honestly, Paul gives all of us these basic words. Th these are beautiful words. And in simplicity becomes something great and powerful. Dear Lord, 
Help us to evangelize. Help us to show Christ in our words and action. Help us to love other people. Help us to listen to those who are in error. And dear Lord, put people who need spiritual care in our midst. In Jesus' name, amen.